Hey guys, uh, so the face rig didn't actually record for this episode, so I apologize in advance, there's not gonna be any facial reactions, even though I do talk about face rig. That is the pr only problem I have with it, is it's not 100% reliable, but it's still fun. Last time on Gothic Games. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know, anyways? Just everything there is to know about this game, since I am going to eventually take over and kill all characters. I'm sorry, what? You should just forget about what I said. This would be so much easier. Ah, uh, this sounds not good. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not sure I can let that go. Meanwhile... Hello YouTube and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. When we left off, we kind of left Yuri hanging. Sayuri ran out of class, didn't really share her poem, and now we are with Yuri. We did we did read Natsuki's poem, though. Well, you're always sophisticated with your writings and have the most advice to share. I is that so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri, that's not as bad as you're making it out to sound in your head. I just mean that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come up with those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. All right. Beach. Oh, they're both about beaches. That's cool. A marvel millions of years in the making where the womb of the earth chaotically meets the surface under the clear blue sky an expanse of bliss. But beneath gray rolling clouds and endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in, or will it, or will it suddenly wave, or will a sudden wave send you crashing back down into in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the phone wraps around my ankles, where the, my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to a road on the shore. Drift forward and I return to the earth forevermore. Why? Why are all of their poems... Mm. 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 Natsuki's is the happiest poem. This one also has very, very sad and depressive undertones to it. <laughs> um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to make a metaphorical approach to it. Well, I mean, yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. Sh she did? She didn't say anything weird, did, or she didn't say she didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes or something. Anyways, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have any particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. I'm not sure that the one on the other end of the screen does. That poem didn't exactly read serene to me, Not as, especially with the other one being about... Okay, I interpret it as being about cutting, okay? I can't confirm or deny that the bread, raccoon, knife analogy is actually about cutting. I can't confirm or deny. I can't. What I can confirm is how the poem made me feel and how I interpreted it. And I interpreted it as though it was darker than it was intended to be. 
Thanks for sharing, though. Yeah, it's, it's just Monica. Mm-hmm. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, can I do it to this to this uh, person over here in this corner? No, that's me. Never mind. <laughs> okay, Monica. Hi, Gothic. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. I would also- it would also make me happy to see. Ah ha ha ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm. Ah ha ha ha. It's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar these days. I'm surprised you're in so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her in the past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see. Hmm, I see. That reminds me. About how Sayori's been a little off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well... Gothic, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. I don't like your foreshadowing, Monica. Sayori's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? I think you know. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyways, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, okay. The Lady Who Knows Everything. <clears throat> I've been giving my best performances on Monica's poems. Please bear with me. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought, and here I am, a feather, lost adrift to the sky, victim of the current of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, but when all else failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, and the hand of a beautiful lady, I look at her and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Uh, 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 the, uh, uh, this tells me her reality is shattering around her. She doesn't know what to believe. Everything has lost meaning. She has woken up. Hmm. Her game has no reason for her. Only living people, which is, I guess, why she treats me so... Mm. Hmm, don't want to think about that. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all of the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. 
It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Thank you for finally pointing that out! Oh my god! Ah ha ha, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't have anything to write about, would we? Humans are t aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. Um, what do you mean? You mean one-dimensional. Uh, yeah, that. I have a feeling she meant exactly that. Two-dimensional cartoons on a piece of paper that mean nothing to her. And oh, oh my god. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to have to give up on face cam before too long because as much as I love this face cam and turning out to this game is turning out to be something that uh, I don't want to be a cute girl girl for I want to actually react I don't know I'm thinking thinking brain brains but the what have you done to me Monica I'm thinking like a computer ah, a computer that's skipping over itself constantly anyway Here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid of it's not it's not that good? Yes. I, I, I'm not going to repeat that sentence. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find the other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, They'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the thing you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue to improving. Oh, you mean like constructive criticism? I actually know a thing or two about constructive criticism. Is you always point out what you like about the piece before you get into what can be fixed about it. That way they under the person understands initially that you did enjoy what you're seeing and that all you're trying to do is provide them with a helpful guide to continue to prove to better themselves. More people are open to that kind of critique than anything else where you can say, hey, I liked this, but you can improve on this. It's 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 duality it's equivalent exchange as of to coin a term from full metal alchemist you got to give the good in order to improve the bad mm -hmm. it's almost like having your own little literature club don't you think that's my advice for today thanks for listening you're welcome monica okay you three we're all done sharing poems right why don't we start figuring out hold on a second is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catch catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is commonly foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Why? Why? I'm okay. I promise. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Yes, because mental illness is an actual illness. If you are depressed, you are not feeling well. I don't get what people don't understand about that. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, uh, where did, uh, how did, where did you get that? How did, when did, 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 when did, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. 
Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. So Monica! Monica, you're, you're, you're not telling me something. What did you do? It's you, Monica. I know you did it. What did you do? Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them. And different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all of the poetry pamphlets. And I'm going to invite a friend. I'm not going to mention their name, but it is four letters and it begins with a K. And he's voiced by the amazing Taika Watiti. Not giving anything away here. <laughs> Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Hmm... Yuri, you... you can... Uh... Um... I did not plan for Sayori. Recalculating. 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 Did not plan for Yuri. Shutting down. Yuri needs a job. Uh. Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri to do? I... I'm useless. N no That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Mm. N now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I, I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder when you... On you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should probably make some banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere. A atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Oh, determination! Wing! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. She doesn't really, but at least it's something for her to do. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Gothic. The one which is truly useless. Ah ha ha ha, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pr pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give them one of, to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate of, be appreciate of of that. Uh, that's is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I. Suppose I wouldn't mind having a little bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me much of a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle baking on your own. Gothic may not be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with decorations. They're fighting over me! Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Gothic to- well, What are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work! And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, we're going to have to end the episode! <laughs> Oh, things are getting heavy. Oh, I'm going to have to give a long, hard think about when I actually want to switch to actual face. I need to switch to actual face cam when it comes to the scary stuff. I'm sorry, Raven. Oh, but it has been fun working with the, the, the schoolgirl. I'll probably still have a few more episodes of it, but it's been fun. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. 
Uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you like what you're seeing, if you don't like what you're seeing, or if you have another game you want to see us play here on Serious Gaming, let us know in the comments. We might actually get to it. And until next time, have a good one! Tell me, tell me, please. Is this what I think or is it just me? Don't wake me up from this sweet little dream Where we'll be together forever We're never gonna be apart to me Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it is up to Gothic to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said! Uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez! Can we settle this already? Yeah, honestly, I agree. I want it settled.